As described in the problem statement, the wind is coming from the Z direction, and that will make the blade spin counterclockwise. If you look at the blade airfoils, you will notice that the cord line, which is an imaginary line going from the leading edge to the trailing edge, is pretty much parallel to the direction of the wind. So you might think that this orientation is okay since lift would be pointing up and that would be in the direction of rotation. But one has to consider the additional complexities of a wind turbine blade, which is the wind velocity due to the rotation of the blade. This velocity component increases dramatically with radius and turns out to be much higher than the free stream velocity. Therefore, the airfoil has to be oriented in such a way as to face the relative velocity at an optimal angle of attack. And this actually also explains why blades have twist. In this tutorial, the tip of the blade is said to have a pitch angle of 4 degrees. The pitch angle is the angle between the plane of rotation, which is the XY plane in this case, and the airfoil cord line. So this is all we need to correctly orient our blade. Don't worry if you didn't fully understand. What's most important is to learn how to change the orientation of your model, and this is what we'll do now. In the top toolbar, under Create, mouse over Body Transformation, and select Rotate. Um, just know that in ANSYS 14.5, the Body Transformation options are located under Body Operation. Okay. Now it's prompting us for which bodies to apply the rotation to. We want to select all of our blade surface bodies, and a quick way to do this is simply by highlighting our blade part. And click Apply. You should have nine bodies selected here. We now need to define the axis that it will rotate about. You might have guessed that we want the rotation about the x-axis. So click on the yellow box here. Then um, I will change the view a bit. We'll click on the x-axis. And here uh, we can choose the direction that we want to define our rotation by. Um, we'll leave it towards the positive x-axis. And we'll click Apply. A neat feature here is that we get a preview of the body transformation. So we'll want to change the angle of rotation, and just so that we fully understand what we're doing here, let's start by defining a pitch angle of zero. I'll change the view again. And so with a bit of trial and error, I found a negative 70 degrees to be good um, to get a pitch angle of zero. So I'll input that right here. And um, so look at how the leading and trailing edges are aligned with the XY plane at the tip. So if we want our pitch angle to be 4 degrees, we can change the angle of rotation to negative 66 instead. Perfect. Now click Generate. You can see that the global coordinate axis is currently located at the leading edge, but to better represent our blade being connected to a hub, we would like the global x-axis to be aligned with the center of the cylindrical root. So it's going to be around right here. So to do this, we'll perform another body transformation. So we'll go in the menu again, and this time we'll select Translate. And we're going to select our blade again for the bodies. Click Apply. And now we'll change the definition of the direction to coordinates. Know that we're moving the blade here as opposed to the coordinate system. I found an offset of 0 0.9 meter in the Y and 0 0.6 meter in the Z. to uh, work well. So I'm put those values here and click Generate. Finally, it was specified that the blade is offset at the root by one meter. 
So we can do another translation now. So we'll do the same operation. Again, we'll choose our blade. And direction selection, we'll click the X axis. And so just for fun, we can pick the other direction. And so here, we're going to see that it's going to be moving one meter um, toward this direction. And we can see our little preview here. And we'll click Generate. And finally, now is a good time to save our project.